Have you ever heard of a lake that turns animals into stone? Welcome to the enigmatic world of Lake Natron. Nestled in the heart of East Africa between Kenya and Tanzania, this lake harbors a peculiar phenomenon that has left scientists and nature enthusiasts alike mystified for decades. Lake Natron looks like any other lake from afar. Its serene blue waters are as inviting as they are deceiving. But step closer and you'll notice a chilling spectacle. Stone-like figures of birds, bats, and other creatures, frozen in their final pose, eerily preserved by the lake's waters. This isn't a scene from a horror movie, but a real-life occurrence resulting from the lake's unique chemistry. But what exactly is it about Lake Natron that turns its unsuspecting visitors into stone statues? Is it a curse? or simply a trick of nature. But what exactly causes this eerie transformation? Let's dive into the science behind it. The secret behind this petrifying phenomenon lies in the lake's unique chemistry. Lake Natron, named after the mineral Natron, is a hotbed of extreme conditions. Its high alkalinity, with pH levels comparable to ammonia, creates an environment that is inhospitable to most forms of life. But how does this translate into turning animals into stone-like statues? The answer lies in the lake's high concentration of natron, which is a naturally occurring mixture of sodium carbonate and baking soda. This mineral is the lake's namesake and the key player in its unusual petrifying properties. When an animal comes into contact with the lake's water, the natron begins to infiltrate its body. The high alkalinity of the water makes it difficult for the body to repel the natron, allowing it to seep into the animal's skin and feathers or fur. Over time this process leads to the calcification of the animal's outer layers, encasing it in a hard stone-like shell. But it's not just the outer layers that are affected. The natron and high pH levels also begin to affect the animal's internal systems. The natron essentially leaches calcium from the animal's bones, further contributing to the hardening process. This, combined with the external calcification, results in the animal appearing as if it has been turned to stone. It's important to note, however, that this is not petrification in the traditional sense. Petrification, as seen in fossils, involves the replacement of organic material with minerals over a long period of time. What occurs in Lake Natron is more akin to mummification. The animal's body is preserved, but not replaced with stone. So, the lake doesn't actually turn animals into stone, but it does preserve them in a way that mimics petrification. But what happens to the ecosystem? You might think that a lake with such extreme conditions would be devoid of life, however that's not the case. Against all odds, Lake Natron supports a unique ecosystem teeming with life. At the heart of this fascinating ecosystem are the vibrant pink flamingos, a species that has evolved to thrive in this seemingly inhospitable environment. These flamingos, specifically the lesser flamingo, have found a safe haven in the lake's harsh conditions. The lake's high alkalinity, which is lethal to most creatures, serves as a natural barrier against predators, providing the flamingos with a safe breeding ground. But how do these beautiful birds survive in a lake that can turn other animals into stone? The answer lies in their specialized diet and physiology. Flamingos feed on spirulina, a type of blue-green algae that flourishes in the lake's alkaline waters. This algae not only provides them with the nutrients they need to survive but also gives them their distinctive pink color. Their long legs and specialized beaks, perfectly adapted to filter feeding, allow them to sift through the water for their microscopic meals. Additionally, flamingos have developed tough skin and scales on their legs to protect them from the caustic waters. They have also adapted to the lake's high temperatures which can reach up to 60 degrees Celsius by standing on one leg to minimize heat absorption. But the flamingos are not the only residents of Lake Natron. The lake's ecosystem also includes algae, invertebrates, and a few hardy fish that have evolved to survive in its extreme conditions. Each organism in this unique ecosystem has carved out its niche, contributing to the delicate balance of life in this extraordinary lake. So despite its stone-cold reputation, Lake Natron is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. Its flamingos dancing on the line between life and death offer a vivid reminder of the wonders and mysteries of the natural world. And in the face of such resilience, we can only stand in awe and say, in the midst of death life persists, isn't nature amazing? Lake Natron is a paradox, a place of life and death where beauty and terror coexist. Here life flourishes and perishes in the same breath, creating a spectacle that is both fascinating and eerie. 
This saline lake with its intense alkalinity and sweltering temperatures is the perfect breeding ground for a certain species of flamingo, providing a unique sanctuary that few other creatures can tolerate. Yet, the same harsh conditions that foster life also petrify it, turning any unfortunate creature that ventures into its waters into a stone-like statue. This paradoxical existence is a humbling demonstration of nature's complexity. It's a stark reminder that life, in all its diverse forms, thrives in the most unexpected places, and yet the same elements that give life can also snatch it away. Nature, in its raw, unfiltered form, is both the cradle and the grave. As we unravel the mysteries of Lake Natron, we are reminded of the delicate balance that exists in nature. The secrets of Lake Natron are as captivating as they are eerie. We've journeyed through the lake's unique chemistry, a peculiar cocktail that leads to the calcification of animals, creating a spectacle that's both fascinating and unsettling. Despite its harsh, caustic environment, the lake hosts a thriving ecosystem, nurturing an array of life forms. From resilient flamingos to tough microorganisms, each plays a vital role, adding another layer to the mystery of Lake Natron. We've also pondered the paradoxes surrounding this lake. It's an oasis of life in an otherwise inhospitable environment, Yet it's also a petrifying pool, freezing time for its unfortunate victims. It's a place of death and life, decay and growth, all rolled into one mesmerizing location. Lake Natron, a testament to the power of nature, continues to fascinate and perplex us. And isn't that the beauty of science, always leaving us with more questions than answers? Through this journey, we've delved into the mysteries of Lake Natron, a testament to the astonishing phenomena that nature presents us. It's a place that embodies the paradox of life and death, a spectacle that's rare and profound. Science often leads us to such wonders, sparking our curiosity and expanding our understanding of the world we inhabit. Our exploration of Lake Natron is just a glimpse of the depth and breadth of content we aim to provide here at Curiosity Summit. We believe in the power of knowledge, the thrill of discovery, and we know you do too. That's why we invite you, our viewers, to join us as we continue to uncover the wonders of our world. Your likes, shares, and subscriptions don't just support our channel. They build a community of curious minds, passionate about learning and discovery. By subscribing to Curiosity Summit, you gain access to exclusive content, meticulously researched and presented for your viewing pleasure. We aim to satiate your curiosity and expand your horizons one video at a time. We would like to take this moment to express our sincere gratitude for your time and engagement. It's you, our viewers, who add value to our growing community. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the enigma of Lake Natron, and we look forward to sharing many more adventures with you. Remember, at Curiosity Summit, we believe there's always more to learn, more to discover, so stay curious, stay engaged, and until our next exploration, keep wondering.